Hello everybody and welcome back to Leeton. My name's Jace and today it's about peppers and it's about chilies. And gonna have to uh, come up with a few little strategies to keep them going and keep them warm enough on the colder nights because we're still getting eights and nines and they're saying six on Saturday for an hour but I don't believe that. I don't think uh, that will actually happen. So probably gonna have to protect some with some fleece. We're gonna have to take them in sheds and greenhouses, etc. But something needs to happen with them. And today's the day. Okay, now peppers and chilies like a rich, well-draining soil to grow in. In particular, they like a loamy soil. And if you have a loamy soil, brilliant scoop it up put it in pots or plant you plant them directly in the ground as long as you've got the temperatures and you can keep them watered, etc it needs to be well draining though i don't have that luxury my soil is clay type soil it's not very well draining and then when it does dry out it cracks so i need to make up a pot in medium first of all to do uh, to get these chilies in the ground now so I'm going to have to use compost, they grow well in compost um, and I'm also going to have to make sure that compost is well draining and for that I'm going to use uh, sharp sand. This is actually uh, ballast that you would use for making concrete. We've got a ton bag on the drive because we're renovating the house. Now we've got some quite large stones in it as you can see. So I'm going to sieve those out with a garden sieve down to about 10 millimetres. I'm going to then mix that with the compost and some well rotted organic farmyard manure. And I'm not quite sure on the ratios yet, I'll go through that in a bit. But then I'm going to use that potting mix in some nice pots that I've bought, some terracotta pots and a couple of plastic pots as well and I'll probably put a couple of them in the greenhouse and the rest will live out here on these slabs and on the colder nights they'll get put in a shed or the greenhouse and I've also got the center bed of the polytunnel which has got nothing in it at the moment so I think that is going to be utilized to put a lot of them in as well so I've got chilies I've got about 10 or so I'm not quite sure on the varieties because it was a mixed packet so I have no idea what I'm growing. I've got Sweet Amy uh, yellow bell peppers and I've got a lot of red bell peppers. Unknown variety because it was from home saved seed from 2020 and they have all germinated so I've got a lot of those. I'm going to have to come up with some kind of structure to protect them outside but we'll get on to that later first of all let's make up this potting mix okay so this is it after it's been sieved as you can see there are still some relatively big stones in there sort of uh, eight millimeters ten millimeters across I'm not worried about that that's just gonna add drainage and like I say, I'm only using this because I've got this on the drive. It took me five minutes to sieve it. If I didn't have this, I would be going and buying a bag of sharp sand from the builder's yard. And as I've already said, if you didn't want to do that and you wanted to do the Rolls-Royce version, get yourself a bag of perlite. Okay, my compost I'm going to use is clover, multi-purpose compost. Irish moss peat. Uh, that's what I've been buying all summer and it's turned out to be really good stuff. So I'm going to put a whole bag of that in the wheelbarrow. I'm going to use a wheelbarrow as a, a mixing bath. going to be big enough that is. So that was a 50 litre bag. Then on top of that 
I'm going to put half a bag of organic farmyard manure. Oh, that smells nice. clumps and then mix it all together by hand. Nothing better than getting your hands in. Now I'm not going to have a set formula for this mixture. So much of this, so much of that. This is about as close as it gets. Full bag, half bag. It's the same when I cook. What looks right and tastes right. Not that I'll be eating this. Um, so, get all of this mixed in. That's a stone. Okay. So now all I want to do is mix this manure into the compost. Breaking up the clumps as I do it. Because I'm doing this on the slabs, any bits that go on the floor, I can just sweep up and put back in. go. I might take a little bit of this out of here and make life easier for myself. Because the next step is to add the sand. Okay, sand. Now I'm, the sand I'm just going to add to what looks right, not a set amount. So that's one. I'm going to add another shovel of sand.
that's got quite a bit of stone in there now and that's going to help create some air spaces and it's going to help create uh, drainage so next get some pots so these these are my brand new pots that I bought specifically to put my chilies in so about the right depth so I'm gonna go and get my strongest looking chili plant and we'll see how it fits so this is the strongest one even got a flower coming up now I only potted these on a couple of weeks ago so the roots might not be all the way to the bottom of these big pots not far off look at that Make sure I get it all compacted down the sides. There we are guys, first chili of 23 potted into its final destination. So I'm gonna crack on and do the others. Okay, so that's all the chilies potted on with the exception of the run to the family in that pot there. That's gonna go in a clutch outside as a backup um, it might catch up I don't know but so we've got these pots here and those two there and these two here actually she's got these off my mum the other day I went around to see them and uh, she said oh do you want some pots so yeah jumped at the chance of those because they're perfect for these so on the cold nights, I'm going to put them in the shed, so I haven't got far to carry them at least. And I think that plastic pot there and that one, I'm going to put in the greenhouse. Uh, or I might put those in the greenhouse because they're going to be heavier to move around. So I might put those in the greenhouse and then all the rest, the terracotta ones I want out here because it's nice to look at, uh, matches the other pots on that one and that one out here as well. So I'm going to have a cup of tea now, it's boiling hot now, it really is. And all that, these pots here took 120 litres of compost, 40 litres of manure and about 20 litres of um, sand and grit. Look, I've even cleaned the shed out so I have space <laughs> to put all, put all the parts on the night. OK, 
Okay, so if you watched the video when I built this centre bed, you will know that I just threw, I think it was three or four bags of compost in there. So that's all going to need tamping down uh, to make it firm. Then I'm going to put a whole bag of that manure on there and then probably it will need topping off with another bag of compost. And then I shall lay out these, as many as I can. So the ones at the back are red sweet peppers, bell peppers. And they've got flowers coming. So hopefully they'll work. That's from Home Saved Seed from 2020, so we'll see. And these are Sweet Amy, which are a yellow um, bell pepper, sweet pepper. And again, we've got a runt. So that will be put to one side. I'm also gonna have to put some stakes in. Uh, some quite strong stakes and then plant pots on the top so that I can put fleece over them on the cooler evenings and also maybe put some string across because we do get quite a bit of wind here and I don't want them getting damaged by the wind obviously. There we go guys I think these first four are uh, sweet Amy the yellow one and then the rest are red bell peppers and if only the weather would stay like this it'd be about five degrees warmer on a night we'd be all right but that's the idea of the uh, stakes with the pots on the top is later on 
or come out there's that big piece of fleece over there on the bench and that will get draped across these weighted down with some bricks and hopefully that will protect them what you got to think about is the soil is probably 15 degrees maybe more so by covering it with fleece overnight that temperatures coming out of the soil hopefully getting trapped by the fleece and hopefully keeping the plants for life so that's it for another one guys hope you've enjoyed the video if you have please give it a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed please do and follow us on our journey to become more self-sufficient and also follow us to see if these peppers and chilies actually survive cheers guys see you next time